Let's go ahead and see how much copper is inside this 52 pound motor. The first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, remove any bolts that I can get to on the outside of the casing. We have a nice chunk of aluminum here. Our magnet does not stick, so we'll set that off to the side for now. All right, we're gonna go ahead and toss that into the sheet iron pile, along with this ring here too. All right, let's go ahead and get this end cap off of here and get the uh, get everything else out as well. A little bit more aluminum here, cast aluminum. Next up, we're gonna take our angle grinder. We're gonna make a nice cut right down the center of this casing. We may have to do it on the other side as well, but uh, we're gonna try to go ahead and get this copper crown out. Just grinding it down one side of the case here, popped it open. We just gotta go ahead and clip a couple of wires here. It should come right out. There we go. We'll go ahead and clean this stuff up here in a minute. We're gonna go ahead and take our file here and file on the copper coils just to be certain that they actually are copper. And they most definitely are. So we're going to go ahead, split this guy down the middle and collect that copper. So now you're going to want to grab your wire cutters, some pliers of some sort, and a little pry bar. 
Uh, I go ahead and I cut the strings to make it a little bit easier when I'm pulling the copper out. So let's go ahead, uh, let's pull this stuff out. Hoping this should be pretty easy. Be a little bit easier if I wasn't filming this. All right, look at all that beautiful copper. There we go, look at all that beautiful copper. We're gonna go ahead, clean up a bunch of these strings and we'll get a weight on it. And for the calculations for our sheet iron, we have 43 pounds, 7.6 ounces. For the number two copper windings, we have two pounds, 14.1 ounces. We have three pounds, 12.8 ounces of cast aluminum. Alrighty guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, and we'll definitely catch you in the next one.